Michigan head coach Jawan Howard has been suspended five games by the Big Ten after a kerfuffle that took place after Sunday afternoon's game at the Kohl Center against the Wisconsin Badgers. Matt, I got a very simple question for you. Were those five games, is that five game suspension too much, too little, or just right? No, I don't think it's, uh, it's enough. I honestly think it was too little uh, for that kerfuffle. Uh, as like just, that? Yeah, like yeah, that, that was great, great addition <laughs> there. Um, as funny as that word sounds, this is ridiculous. I mean, Juwan Howard, from the start to the, the finish of this whole endeavor, uh, just doesn't seem like it was a good call for any of it. I think he should have been suspended for the rest of the season, period. That seemed to also be the consensus with not just reporters or analysts who are covering it, but also players, other coaches that chimed in, and even some you know, people within confer other conferences thought that that was the right way to go about it. Not to mention that all of this started uh, and his excuses for why this whole thing started was because he decided to coach his team till the very end even though he was down and no way of coming back. Uh, he got mad that guard did it and then when guard tried to explain the situation uh, he he just was like no don't don't touch me and, and instead of acting like an adult was just mad that his team lost. Yeah I get it um, but I do think the five games was just right. I don't think it was too little oh. um, too much. Um, there are a lot of people who deserve blame for what took place on Sunday afternoon including Greg Gard, but none more obviously than Jawan Howard. If you want to press, play full court press, down 15 points of 15 five man seconds. Press. Five man press. Five man press, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. And Jawan Howard, you real slick for that, trying to use the whole semantics game. You know that that's, that's press. If you want to do that, down 15 points of 15 seconds left, fine. That's lame, but fine. But then don't get upset with Greg Gard in continuing to also coach his team and get his backups, his reserves, um, in a better situation. So, Jawan Howard, again, this looks bad. Um, yep. You can't get so upset about whatever you're upset about that you will it, you allow it to hit somebody after the game, strike somebody. Um, and that's why I think the, the punishment is just fine. Again, he needs to be punished for what happened, um, for what ensued. But, again, he didn't, he didn't openly punch somebody. Nobody no, was seriously was no injured yeah. or hurt. So, um, to, for so, what do you what do you, what do you well, think would have not, been the appropriate? I think he should have been done punishment. for the rest of the season, including I mean, the NCAA tournament. Yes, I think if, if they, they got make there, it, right? If, if they, they got make there, of it, course. I mean, they only have really five games left. Uh, you that doesn't really allow for the right amount of punishment, in my opinion, because it's like, are, all right, are they just getting off easy because it's the end of the season and they only have that many games? Yeah. Would it have been five games if this had happened earlier in the season? Right. Also, this isn't the first time that an instant instance like this has happened with Juwan Howard. Correct. So he's a repeat offender Correct. in that sense, so that I think that has to be taken into account also. And then, you know what? University of Michigan, uh, I don't know who does your research. I don't know if you were actually just trying to do this to side with with Juwan, uh, but it's Joe Krabenhoff, not Joel. I don't know how that fell <laughs> through the Probably just an honest mistake. Probably just yeah, it's mistake. just an honest mistake for one of the best blue blood, you know, universities in the country. Uh, but no, I think that this should have just been the, for the rest of the season, however long that is, yeah. and, and Michigan could have been sent a message. And honestly, this is just kind of shows you where Michigan is at uh, in their season and what this second season uh, has been like for them. They were highly touted coming right. in. Uh, obviously have not lived up to that hype and then this happens and, and they get to leave uh, the University of Wisconsin in the Kohl Center uh, with fans chanting NIT. <laughs> and I think that contributed and not, not to make an excuse for Jawan Howard by any means but I think Michigan season up to this point contributed yeah. it kind of seemed like a boiling point a lot of stuff boiling over for Jawan Howard and that kind of obviously culminated in what we saw on Sunday afternoon but I mean you make a good point and that was part of the reason why I wouldn't have been surprised mm -hmm. that the Big Ten made the decision to suspend him for the remainder of the season because, like you mentioned, this is not Juwan Howard's first time having a kerfuffle um, yeah. post-game. In the Big Ten game, I believe last year, it was against Maryland. There was a whole big deal yeah. after that game um, with both coaching staffs yelling at each other. It almost turned into something um, that, that it shouldn't have been. So, um, like I said, I would have understood if Juwan Howard would have had to sit down for the rest of the season, but five games... Sounds about right for me, but that's going to do it for us. Catch us on tomorrow's episode of Simple Question for Scott Proctor and Matt Morris. We'll see you then.